Hello everyone. My good friend Matt Hillock wants me to make one of his images have a transparent background so that he can put it on his Spreadshirt page at LaughTrackMatt.Spreadshirt.com. So I thought I'd turn this into a tutorial, show you guys how to use PaintShop Pro, because that's the, the thing that everyone uses these days. Photoshop? What's that? So this is the image that he wants me to make a background of, make the background transparent. And I guess he was having problems doing it himself. Like, um, he was trying to just, oh, how do you even do that now? <laughs> I don't know how to use programs. Wow, is this image just really huge? Yeah, it's 3,300 across. That's a good image size. But yeah, he was just um, erasing the background like this. The checkerboard thing is the background. I think because I am screen capturing, and this is a big image, like usually my stuff doesn't run this slow, but wow, this, this might be a, a mess trying to do this. But I wanted to show Matt what I do, like how I... Uh, fix how, how I make a background transparent and what I do is in, in paint shop pro which is what he's using also I like convincing people to use paint shop pro and not Photoshop I don't know why I like Photoshop I've just been using paint shop pro forever but anyway I changed um, the background color blue up here over here in the right top corner uh, you have to pick a color that's that's uh, you know not in the image so like for example I wouldn't want to use yellow because this stuff here is yellowish. But basically I'm going to do like a chroma key type thing. Go to the fill tool and just make everything blue. Blue. Everything that I want to be transparent should be blue. And that looks pretty good. It's all blue. No problems so far. So the image is 3300 by 2550 pixels. So I want to make... Um, I want to make an image that's the same size, like that has a transparent back background. So um, 3300, I'll say 3500, just so it's easier to fit in there, and then I'll cut it down later. By 2500, I'll say 3000. And then here, I can choose the color that the background is. I can make it white, or another color, I can make it transparent. I want to make it transparent. So there is a transparent image. Now this is really easy. You just copy the entire image it's copied and now you click on edit and paste and paste as a transparent selection and if we're lucky we'll get this with no blue remnants around all the edges so that's it it's done oh look there's a little black mark up there I'll, I'll manually erase that but um, yeah, then you just uh, use the crop tool and crop down the edges so you don't have a bunch of crazy edges all over your t-shirt. Uh, there's a little black mark up here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I want to make my eraser really big and just erase all that. Weird, it didn't erase. Erase all that. There it goes. Uh, also... If you want my opinion, I would say this crease here, which looks like to be a crease in the paper, you probably don't want that there. So I'm going to copy the color of these wings here, copied, and, you know, just paste that into those wings so it looks, you know, like there's not a crease there anymore. So that's it. Now I just save this image, and I'm going to send it to Matt, and Matt will know how to do this all by himself from now on. Yay! Uh, you want to save as a PNG, by the way, because, uh, you know, JPEGs, those, those aren't going to work. No JPEGs. So save as bees, aids. And there you go, my very first instructional video. Hopefully it will help Matt uh, I would like uh, to invite everyone to just yell at me in the comments because I don't use Photoshop and because I'm doing this wrong. I, I learned how to do this stuff on my own years ago, 
So I'm sure I'm doing it wrong. I'm probably taking the long way around doing it all, and I'm stupid. And fine, whatever. Yell at me. I don't care. Bye.